This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the newest addition to the Compliance Podcast Network, the Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance, and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. In compliance, the value of anonymous reporting is undeniable. But with Ethico, anonymity doesn't mean a loss of connection. Our blinded, two-way communication fosters an environment of trust and confidentiality, encouraging open and honest dialogue. It's not just about receiving reports. It's about understanding the story behind each one, creating a culture of integrity and respect. Transform your approach to anonymous reporting with Ethico. Begin your journey at ethico.com slash CPN, where you can book a demo, access an exclusive white paper by Tom Fox titled The ROI of Compliance, and utilize our free ROI calculator. On today's compliance tip of the day, I'd like to talk about forensic audits and forensic auditors as a part of your investigation team. A skilled set of team members around forensic accounting, and forensic audits can bring an investigative mind that drives them to answer questions about what occurred, when and how it occurred, and who is involved. Most lawyers do not understand how forensic accounting is performed and how forensic auditors can assist your compliance investigation going forward. Forensic auditing works to collect and analyze accounting and internal controls evidence. They use this information to produce a fact-based report that can inform the decision-making process in inquiries, investigations, and dispute resolution. The byproduct of an internal audit's work can include remediation strategies to help a company mitigate and remedy procedural or internal controls gaps that allow an underlying condition to occur. Inquiries into accounting and internal controls raise a host of technical issues requiring specialized knowledge that forensic accountants are uniquely positioned to provide. This is a qualitative difference from internal audit, which often looks at the process to determine if it has been adhered to in a procedure. The objective of a forensic audit team is to collect, analyze, and report on evidence or facts surrounding an act that often has fraudulent, or even criminal implications. Auditors also collect and analyze evidence, but an independent auditor's objective is to attest to the credibility of the assertions that are under examination, such as material accuracy of financial statements for which the audited company's management is responsible. However, a key role of the forensic accountant is to identify a concern and to notify company management about issue or issues discovered. As With a decision on bringing outside counsel to perform a compliance investigation, you'll need to consider whether a forensic accountant should be retained as an outside consultant or hired as an employee. Obviously, the GC should be involved, and by using the GC to hire a forensic accountant and auditor, the attorney-client privilege will attach. It's an important decision that you need to make and an important part of your overall compliance investigative team. I hope you will consider the forensic auditor and forensic accountant going forward. As you know, this month's sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, including this podcast, is Ethico. Have you ever wondered about the ROI of your compliance program or had concerns with presenting budget proposals to your CFO? Well, I partnered with Ethico to write a white paper on the ROI of compliance and how you can think through compliance as an investment strategy. Ethico has put together a ROI calculator for you. Check them out on the website. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested 
topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network.